This podcast is part of the Bomb Pod Media Network. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Florida State University has banned all fraternities and sororities following the death of a student after a house party last Friday. Well, well then, that, that should completely stop college students from partying and drinking. I mean, after all, you can't do that unless you're in a fraternity, right? Starbucks has opened its first bakery in Seattle. Can the $10 grande no-gluten double-frosting cinnamon roll be far behind? I speak Starbuckian, can you tell? Chicago's quickly approaching its 600th homicide this year. That would be the first time since 2003. So, um, congratulations? Being an adult in the real world is hard. Maybe that is what a young hippopotamus discovered in her two minutes outside of Ramat Gan Safari in central Israel. According to UPI, the female hippo escaped the zoo on Wednesday evening, casually strolling out of an open gate, only to return on her own accord through the same gate two minutes later. It's the exact same thing that happens when college snowflakes graduate, step out into the real world, and then realize nothing has prepared them for the real world. Comcast users experienced internet shutdowns on Monday due to a network configuration error. If it makes you feel any better, they had to put themselves on hold and listen to warbly music for 45 minutes before it was fixed. Over in Russia, 21-year-old Boriska Kiprianovich had quite a remarkable life. He was able to speak within months of being born, and he could read and write by the age of two. Too bad he's crazy. He now claims that he is a Martian who was reborn on Earth. His parents claim that he has spoken about alien civilizations since he was a young boy, despite them never teaching him about the matter. He also claims he has visited Earth while working as a pilot on Mars and that they had close connections to ancient Egyptians. In fact, he made a prediction that life on Earth is going to change significantly when the Great Sphinx of Giza is unlocked using a mechanism behind its ear. His mother believes she knew he was special from the age of just a couple of weeks when he was able to hold his own head up unassisted. She also said that he was able to read newspaper headlines by the age of one, he could draw at the age of two, and by two and a half, he could paint. Of course, all the alien conspiracy theorists are just eating this up. The Zion, Illinois Police Department was dispatched recently to rescue a chunky raccoon from a sewer grate. On their Facebook page, the police wrote, "...it seems this little guy's been eating a little too well and got caught in the sewer grate." Either that or he was getting pulled into the sewer by that creepy clown dude from IT. Le Parisien is now open in Paris. It's the city's first all-nude restaurant. Yikes, you gotta feel sorry for the guy working the deep fryer at that place. A 24-year-old Kansas City man is facing federal gun and drug charges. While being questioned, Sean Sykes Jr. denied knowing anything about the guns or drugs. In his report about the interview, the detective wrote that when asked about his address, Mr. Sykes leaned to one side of his chair and released a loud fart. So now he's being charged with biological warfare. A new study claims that sleep deprivation actually causes your brain cells to not fire properly. Broccoli! Kevin Spacey has checked into the same rehab center where Harvey Weinstein is currently receiving treatment. Afterwards, they plan to bunk in separate rooms over at Roman Polanski's place. Meanwhile, there's apparently a petition circulating to save the series House of Cards by replacing Kevin Spacey in the lead with Kevin James. Yeah, and Lee Remini can be the first lady, and, and they can move the White House over to a white castle in Queens. Michael Orega of Dallas, Texas, decided to visit the White House in Washington, D.C. Well, actually, he said he went to the nation's capital to kill all white police at the White House. The Secret Service arrested him after receiving an alert from the Montgomery County, Maryland Police Department to be on the lookout for Orega. He was found on the north side of Pennsylvania Avenue near Lafayette Park. A Facebook profile that appears to be Arega's shows him checked in at the White House on Monday and also includes posts with statements such as, "...now I am going to there to White House make sure kill all white police. I remove the power of darkness from USA in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Put him on jail Donald J. Trump in may IT name of Jesus Christ." 
Orega was not carrying any weapons when he was arrested, but he was charged with making felony threats. I'm kind of hoping he was also charged with murdering proper spelling and grammar. Finnish game studio Next Games has announced it's going to launch a new augmented reality smartphone game in the coming months based on AMC Network's hit TV show Walking Dead. Kind of like Pokemon Go, but with zombies. Well, what could possibly go wrong? Get the Daily Dose of Weird News podcast for Apple or Android at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And please leave a review on iTunes if you like the show. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!